Hi, Presby family. Pastor Andrew here. I wanted to check in with you and wish you all well on this Tuesday afternoon. Well, it's amazing to see how within just the last 30 hours, the world has changed profoundly as our society is taking a lot of significant measures to combat the spread of coronavirus. So I hope you're at home. I hope you're safe. I hope you're doing well. There are a few things that I'd like to bring you in the loop on. We've been meeting as elders and as staff to talk through some of our church's responses during the days and weeks ahead. And I want to bring you into the loop here on some of the things to expect moving forward. First of all, I want to inform you that beginning this Sunday and for the foreseeable future, we will be moving toward an exclusively online way of worshiping the Lord together on Sunday mornings. We will be having a full service on Sunday morning that you can join us via Facebook live stream. Unfortunately, you won't be able to come here to the building in person. We do want to honor the uh, the gathering size restrictions that are in force, but we do hope that you'll join us on Sunday morning through social media because we still want to worship the Lord together as a church family, even if we're not all under the same roof. The second thing that I want to make you aware of is that the church building will be closed uh, beginning tomorrow and for the foreseeable future. That impacts all the regular gatherings, Bible studies, things that would be happening in the church building. Our office will remain open via phone and email if you do need to get a hold of us for any reason. Please feel free to reach out. The church staff would love to connect with you during this time, but I hope you'll understand why we're closing the building to help contain the virus and help follow best practices. During this time, I do want to let you know that the elders will be organizing the church family into smaller care groups. And the reason for this is so that we can still be the family of Christ to one another, so that we can be looking out for one another, we can be checking in on each other, we can make sure that everybody has their basic needs met. And so stay tuned for more information about that. We don't want anyone to fall between the cracks. We want to make sure that everyone knows that their church family is here for them and is checking up on them during the days ahead. And I invite you also to stay tuned for continuing updates from the church elders and the staff. Our church staff are still here. We're going to be continuing to work during the days and weeks ahead. And we're pursuing all sorts of innovative approaches for how we can bring the ministry of the church to you wherever you are during this time. So please stay connected to us through email and through social media as we prepare to bring the ministries of the church to you. Friends, the times that we are living in are times that none of us could have seen coming or could have predicted, but we know that even in the midst of this uncertainty and of all of this change, we know that God is certain and that God does not change. And so in the midst of the confusion and the fear that is around us, my friends, I hope that we can truly be the body of Christ, that we can show the world that our hope is in Jesus Christ, that we can present him as beautiful to our neighbors, to our friends, to all who see us be the body of Christ at this time, and that together, even though we're not in the same place, we are scattered throughout the community and we can bring joy to our community and to our world to a world that is in need of hope, to a world that is in need of peace, to a world that is in need of Jesus Christ. So friends, wherever you are, be the body of Christ this week. God bless you.